If aliens were to exist, what could we discover about our space neighbors? Maybe extraterrestrials are monstrous killing machines. You could be living next to a planet of Jeffrey Dahmer's, or maybe they're kindly grandmother type figures who want to offer you their delicious creations to try. Or maybe they just want peace and quiet with the occasional space BBQ. Welcome back to an alternate world. Today we'll be exploring what would happen to our planet if we were to be visited by aliens. The universe is made up of over 2 trillion galaxies containing something like 20,000 billion billion stars. Just in the Milky Way alone, scientists estimate there are 40 billion Earth-like planets falling in habitable zones. It's not a question of if there are aliens out there, but more so when and where we will meet them. Assuming we don't wipe each other out first here on Earth, for as long as humans have been looking up at the stars in the sky, we've contemplated the idea of beings from another planet coming down to visit us. Images of aliens permeate our culture, from our art, to our science, and especially our conspiracy theories. We're constantly probing at the question of what they would look like, what would their motivations be, and the more specific scenarios of how do we communicate? A lot of the time, these representations of aliens are scary and murderous, as in shows like Three Body Problem, and films like Independence Day, or Ridley Scott's aptly named Alien franchise. Other films like Men in Black or Marvel Infinity Saga represent plenty of different alien civilizations with many different intentions and motivations. Don't worry though, Thanos won't snap in this video. We won't make you watch Tom Holland crumble to dust. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. It's very clean. I don't want to go. Russian scientist Nikolai Kardashev spent a lot of time developing a theory about extraterrestrial civilizations. Kardashev was a groundbreaking astrophysicist whose work in the 20th century hugely influenced space satellite projects and observational astrophysics. Today, we're interested in his theories on extraterrestrial life, the Kardashev scale in particular. This thought-provoking scales a hypothetical framework proposed by Kardashev in 1964 to measure the technological advancement and energy consumption of civilizations. It's divided into three types. Type 0 Civilization A Type 0 Civilization, according to the Kardashev scale, is a hypothetical civilization that's not yet harnessed the full potential of its home planet. They're typically characterized by their reliance on non-renewable energy sources and their limited ability to control natural phenomena. In terms of technological advancement, they're still in the early stages, often comparable to our current human civilization. A Type 0 alien coming to Earth would be a primitive creature that lands here by accident or as a fluke. It would not be a planned trip or premeditated interaction. Type 0 civilizations have not yet mastered all the energy of their home planet and fall anywhere from bacteria to where humans are now. It could be more of an animalistic visitor a la a xenomorph or the shapeshifter from John Carpenter's The Thing. A scary scenario, but ultimately one that does not threaten life on Earth. It could also be a civilization closer to where humans are on the evolutionary scale. Upon their arrival, both civilizations face communication challenges due to linguistic and technological differences. However, through mutual curiosity and a desire for understanding, they engage in cultural exchange and scientific collaboration. We could see the beginning of a beautiful friendship, like the one between Han Solo and Chewbacca. This kind of encounter underscores the potential for mutual learning and growth while raising profound questions about humanity's place in the cosmos. Type 1 Civilization Also known as a planetary civilization, this civilization can harness and control all the energy resources available on its home planet. They have mastered renewable energy sources, such as solar, wind, and hydropower, and can sustainably manage their planet's resources. This is where things could get hairy for our species' survival. If a Type 1 alien civilization were to visit Earth, maybe they'd come to trade with us, or help us advance for the betterment of both our species. But looking back on our history on Earth, often things don't go so well when a technologically advanced culture meets one slightly behind it. Annihilation, or slavery and colonization, is often part of the equation. Any encounter with a Type 1 alien civilization that's harnessed all its planetary energy resources would be totally tipped in their favor. 
The firepower they bring would be far superior to ours. Think about a fight against the aliens from District 9 or Ego from Guardians of the Galaxy. We would simply have to rely on their kindness. A nice thought is potentially to reach this type of civilization requires a complex brain that values teamwork and equality. But who knows? Perhaps a species that employs more of a ruthless hive mind style would be the one to harness the full power of a planet. Regardless if any alien civilization type 1 or higher visits us, our fate is no longer in our own hands. Type 2 Civilization This civilization has advanced to the point where they can harness and control the energy output of an entire star. They'd be engineers of their entire solar system. That could only be achieved by constructing a massive structure, like a Dyson Sphere, which is a hypothetical mega machine that would capture a star's energy. They'd be able to utilize the full potential of their solar system's resources. Even though we haven't yet reached Type 1 civilization status, mathematician and philosopher Stuart Armstrong has suggested that humans could construct a Dyson Sphere by farming the planet Mercury. We couldn't skip to Step 2, however, we would need to fully harness the energy available on Earth to ever begin this process. Megastructures such as space elevators, a system that could transport material from the surface of Earth into geostationary orbit, would need to be constructed. Maintaining a civilization and shared culture across planets light years away. This is when life on Earth becomes truly insignificant in comparison. It's hard for us to even fathom what this would look like, if we were to come across these aliens, would they even consider us worth interacting with? Think of it like us humans coming across a school of plankton. We could get skipped right over, we could be instantly destroyed, maybe they will just come and farm our star, leaving us in a permanent eclipse. Star Trek features examples of this type of alien civilization, such as the Borg Collective, or the Red Matter engineered by the Vulcan Science Academy. It's definitely better to be the Type 2 civilization doing the visiting than the other species being visited. This is truly about the haves and have-nots. Type 3 Civilization A Type 3 civilization is so far advanced it can harness and control the energy of an entire galaxy. They have mastered interstellar travel, colonization of multiple star systems, and can effectively utilize the energy resources of entire galaxies. They're godlike. There's a theory that a civilization of this type actually created us. When you're that powerful and have so much energy at your disposal, creating life is not such a stretch. They could really appear in any form. Maybe something like Dr. Manhattan in Watchmen, or even the mice from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Type 3 civilizations are able to harness the power of the universe and travel anywhere. Physicists have discussed breakthroughs that could allow you to reach distances where you could start to mine entire galaxies to harness their energy. Miguel Alcubierre proposed the Alcubierre Drive and Curvature Propulsion, which examines the idea of warp speed and traveling faster than light. Around the same time, James Woodward theorized the creation of artificial wormholes to achieve galactic travel. The powers and capabilities of a Type 3 civilization are so far above ours we cannot even begin to imagine what they are capable of. It's hard to generate an analogy for our interaction. It's not like bringing a knife to a gunfight. That would be more Type 1. This is like if one person brought a bazooka that could shoot suns out of it and the other person was Mort from Madagascar. Religion and philosophy would be forever altered. We'd probably end up worshipping sacrificing and dedicating everything to this type of civilization. Marvel showed a taste of this kind of power when they gave Thanos the Infinity Gauntlet. The good news is it would take eons to reach anything near a Type 3 civilization, and we'd know even now if one was around us or close to reaching that status. So for an encounter of this kind, it seems we're off the hook. Anyway, how would you picture a world where we are visited by aliens? What would they look like? How would they act? And what would humanity look like after this encounter? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell us which alternate world we should explore next.